Hi guys, this is Tom and today I am going to do body work on my little 04 Civic here. So this car is going to be painted all over so I am going to use um, a really quick easy method of uncovering our dents and so we can see them. So I just noticed that's sticking out there a little bit. I don't like that. But uh, anyway, today I'm going to use three, diff three different blocks here. I got a short Dura block, um, probably what you would call a medium sized Dura block. Uh, I suppose that's about 10 inches long, maybe. And I have a, a softer. Uh, this this block is by Meguiar's. It's soft but yet firm, um, so it's great for contours and things like that. So you know, on each one of them, I have a brand new piece of 320 grit, and uh, let me get you set up here on the camera stand, and we'll get after it. Okay. There are many different ways of finding dents in your car, but uh, it makes it a lot easier since we're going to uh, paint this whole entire car. Uh, we can use this method, which I think is just about the quickest and easiest way to go, because it makes everything very obvious. So I'm going to take my block and I'm just going to lightly go over the entire side of the car and sand it. And I got a block here for each application. We run into here on the side. Because I'll be sanding the car to 320 regardless. So any imperfections that we have in our body are going to show up immediately with this.
so let's camera run. Let's do this. One important thing to do here is if you have an area like this door handle, you don't want to be sanding up against it. Um, you know, I'm putting marks on it, so I'm going to throw a little tape on it so I can sand around it and not have to worry about scratching it. It'll just take a minute to do these things like this and it'll save you some heartache in the end. And usually I go around at least two times, usually three. Get a nice layer on there so that you don't have to worry about breaking through. And putting a irreparable mark on your door handle. There we go. Quick and easy. And it's done. Also, another thing I like to do, which I didn't do, is I like to take, and if your paper is wider than your block or hanging over in any way, I just like to take some scissors and uh, go ahead and trim it up. That way it's a lot easier to get up to things, get up close, and you don't have to worry about sanding something that you're not really wanting to sand. Okay, back to it. See, I get right up against that door handle without sandpaper rubbing that tape. And we don't have to worry about it ever sanding the tape away. So it's always good to take a minute and protect the things that need protecting. And you know, you can always do that too on the rubber of the seals here. We're not getting up against that right now. So, trying to sand in a cross hatch pattern. Go one way and then go the other. Alright. When you get out in the open areas, use your big blocks. Again, sand both ways.
好呀。Okay guys, so I got the rear quarter and the door pretty much gone over and it's really apparent where we have imperfections. Um, again, I just lightly sanded it. So it's obvious we got a dig there, you know, that was very visible and we got a big blemish here. We got a little bit of a crease going on there. So we have a big spot there. Here is a slight dent right here. As you can see, the sandpaper never touched it. So that's what we're looking for is the shiny spots where which would be the low spots. Okay? There's a slight little something something there. Mhm. Mm another one. Another one bigger. Look at all these little little spots. Okay, little spots, they're everywhere. Little dents. And check this out. See, if we wouldn't have used a block, this may not have been very evident. But looky there, she's rolled over there. Very slight. That's a simple fix. We'll just tap the back with a hammer back here. We'll just tap it along the back here with a dolly in the front against it and we'll be able to straighten that right up maybe not even use any filler at all here's another spot some of these spots will sand out within the material that's on the car okay and then I won't have to use primer if we can get that done you know I want to use as little as primer as possible in the project here another spot so what I'll do is when I address these, which we're going to do it today because I'm doing the body work today, we'll, I'll sand this a little bit more and hopefully we'll get that to block out with the material that's on the car without getting down to steel. Oh, here's another one. Oh yeah. Got one there. Oh, there's one right there. As it goes into the curve here we got a slight little dent there and another one maybe right yep another one right there so it becomes apparent when you just lighten again we just lightly sanded this you know we didn't really put any muscle into it we just went over it and kind of scuffed it so but we want to find all of our little imperfections all right so if you're going to paint the entire car, this is a good method of exposing your dents. This car has a lot of little dents on it. It has hail damage, and uh, we're going to have uh, quite a bit of body work to do on it because of that. So there you go. That's how to expose your dents if you're painting the entire car. If you're not painting the entire car, you may want to use light to get different reflections in the in the deal and one whatever else there's several different ways you can find a dent but uh, you know a lot of these were not obvious just by looking at the car so and you saw me do it I don't know how long it took maybe 10 minutes and uh, all right we'll move along and do some other things so take it easy and thanks for watching